What's up guys, the Allfather here bringing you the next war recap. Uh, we just came off a really heartbreaking loss, uh, the last war, and uh, it's good to see that we got back on the winning side here, 56-41 for the good guys, as we face off against Mash and Stash. At uh, first uh, glance, it looked like it would be a tough match, uh, at least defensively, uh, but they were basically rushed and all defense, no offense, and they didn't really have a plan, and we did, so... Uh, good job there, and I do appreciate uh, everyone's willingness to bounce back, and just uh, you have to have a short memory in this game. If you look at our war log, we have not lost back-to-back -back wars in over five months, and that's just a testament to uh, leaving the losses behind, learning from our mistakes, and moving forward. So my goal is to look at most or all of the three-star attacks on anything Town Hall 8 and above, so we're going to have to cruise through these. We are going to start with our newest... Uh, Addition to War, Joseph 69. Yeah, he's going ahead here and taking on the number one base because he attacked so late that it was the only one left. Um, but he said, what the heck, I'll go ahead and go at it anyway. You know, we're probably going to watch all of these in double time speed to get through them. Um, but he just launches pretty much a straight up go wee wipe. Just goes right at everything and lets her fly. Doesn't worry about a clan castle lure because that castle is going to come out uh, You know, pretty much by the time everything's already to the town hall. Goes ahead and drops poison spell to kind of deal with the clan castle. And everything's taken out. Town hall already, 49%. Pops his queen's ability just in time before that inferno tower can lock back on and secures the 50% two star. So uh, good job there, Joseph. Um, also took out another base and two starred it. Uh, first time to war with us in the clan. So. Uh, good addition, appreciate it, and look forward to continuing to war with you. And we'll go ahead and continue here. Look at number three, Viper leading off the early part of the war with a three-star victory here, um, up way up top on number three base. And he tries to get the lure there with a giant, doesn't work. Another giant doesn't work. Um, make sure you check that radius of the clan castle uh, um, to see what you're going to need to lure. But he does trip a giant bomb, which is helpful there. Maybe save some wizards on the back side of the attack from getting blown up. Uh, but he goes ahead and just launches it anyway. Uh, brings the earthquake spell that really didn't do much, but goes ahead and uses a jump uh, to access the core. And rages and heal spells. Goes ahead and takes out that town hall quickly, and he's already up to 50%. And so th at that point, uh, it's a pretty good raid already. But he's still got just a ton of wizards running around. And his queen is still up. Her ability's been used, but she's at full health. That quickly goes away as that cannon targets her. Um, but she manages to take it out just in time, which saves the life of those archers and that wizard. And as you're going to see here in just a moment, uh, that was the key to the attack here. Last few defenses are going down. All of a sudden, giant bomb pops there, uh, but one wizard is still left. He goes ahead and three shots that mortar and takes care of business. And now it's just a race against the clock. Those archers take care of that last elixir storage. They don't get flung by that spring trap, and they're managed to take out that last gold mine. So a uh, really good attack. Again, that would have been a pretty good attack about the halfway point when you already had 53% or so early on, but... Uh, had 40 wizards. That is the first time I've ever seen in this clan a 40 wizard attack. Um, so note to self, maybe that's the key. Um, but great attack there. Everything worked out well. Good job to Viper on that attack. 40 wizards. I'm going to have to figure out an attack strategy and coin it. General Sherman later in the war on his second follow-up here. Uh, taking out a low-level Town Hall 9 base. Goes ahead and launches a single hog there, gets the lure, dragons and loons, which is... Now this clan had a couple of other different things. There's some that had giants in them, some that had uh, other things, wizards and archers, which you usually don't see with the uh, addition of the poison spell. It's usually these high hit point troops, but goes ahead and gets the lure, drags them out there. Level 10 king takes out that queen, no problem. And because of these low-level walls, he doesn't even mess around with jump spells or anything like that. Just heal and rage, heal and rage. And that's a pretty good idea for entry-level Town Hall 9. Uh, purple walls, you really don't have to worry about. You can bust your troops through them pretty easily, whether you use wall breakers or jumps or whatever. 
and having the two heals and he two rages can be pretty beneficial. And so both of his golems are on the one side, his king is tank in the back side uh, on the right there, so he's got tanks running all around the base, uh, providing cover for his witches, his wizards, and just kind of run around in circles. Uh, this is kind of a channeling base designed to get your troops to run around in circles, which they do, but he's got enough to uh, just obliterate that base there. Didn't use 40 wizards, but um, Sherman is learning the power of witches, and I think he's starting to like them. Mountain Dew Maniac against BFK. And he's got a farming base going on. Looks like he uh, follow-up attacks, so he pre-triggers those giant bomb locations because uh, he knows where they're at, get them out of the way um, so that they're not a problem later in the attack. So, um, But again, this is a follow-up attack, so he knows a few things about this base. Uh, he goes ahead and drops two of his golems, witches, and wizards. They just back in the dragon very quickly in that balloon before he can get too many shots off on the golem. And starts driving everything to the middle. And obviously not an ideal layout uh, defensively, at least not if you're in our clan. Uh, it's ideal for us to attack, but um, just not well thought out. Not very many compartments. It's definitely a... F I mean, it looks like they copied their farming base over. I don't know what they were thinking, but... Uh, you see that backside, he launches his golem on the outside, and that was critical to the success of this attack because this is a follow-up attack. We know that there's four Teslas there, you see, and they're on the outside of the walls. So if he had launched all of his golems on the inside there, it's very likely they could have got hung up, and um, those Teslas could have just been beating on them while they were stuck on the walls. But as it is, uh, he's able to use it as that extra tanking ability on the outside, and now there's just a couple of defenses left. His level 19 queen uh, can just go beast mode all over the remainder of the buildings. Uh, still got that full clan castle level 5 golem tank in the way. And no problem for a 3 star there for Mountain Dew Maniac, even without a Barbarian King. He just brings the extra tank to kind of account for that and takes it out with ease. This is a follow-up attack here by Awesome Sauce and uh, Town Hall 8 hitting up onto a Town Hall 9 that's very much entry level. And although this is a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 8 attack uh, in a 3 star, it's uh, thanks to a scouting attack by Peter322. The attack itself did not go very well um, at all, uh, but what he did do is he provided a lot of detailed information. He was able to reveal all the giant bombs. So you see that Awesome Sauce now knows there's a giant bomb down there, launches the hog up there, trips two giant bombs. So those are the three bombs that Peter had revealed in his scout attack. And so Awesome Sauce was able to go ahead and trip all three of those bombs right off the get-go. And that was really beneficial to the outcome and success of this attack. So uh, even if his attack didn't go so well, it did help the clan out tremendously uh, in scouting this base. Spread golems there, uh, getting a good wide spread on the golems, attracting the attention of all of those point defenses uh, so that the kill squad, witches and wizards, barbarian king can go ahead and take out a big chunk of those defenses. Hogs launched in now because those bombs have been taken care of at a 90 degree angle from the go we portion of the attack. And you can see when you do that and your go, your kill squad gets far enough into the base, then the hogs circle around the outside of the base and kind of stay out of the danger zone that's usually surrounding the core. And they work in concert with the kill squad. And so tons of hogs left as a result, tons of uh, wizards and barbarian king, and uh, just a very easy attack made possible by a great scouting attack by Peter. So uh, good job there. And another three-star attack, so. Number nine, also three-star attack by Awesome Sauce against Dingus. I did love these clans' names. They had some interesting names. Uh, Dingus is, is pretty neat. Um, but goes ahead and launches a scout hog there to get the lure and test for giant bomb locations. Now this clan castle had a hog and a dragon in it, which is a little 
bit of a unique setup, but witches and wizards in the clan castle can pretty much take out anything if you do it right. Launches the two golems there, goes ahead and trips whatever giant bombs and uh, Tesla pops that are in there, uh, and distracts all the point defenses on that side. And then back ending with the hogs is a nice job there. Surgical deployment on the backside defenses as they collapse on the core, good heal spells. And everything's being healed up in the core while the uh, golem is still sort of tanking the outside and just buying time for the hogs to work their way around. Good heal spell there on the last defense that takes care of those skellies that are chasing. And everything's gone already. And there's still three wizards, a witch, uh, some golemites, another wizard, and a bunch of hogs going on there. So that's how it's done there on the... Uh, Go Weho Town Hall 8. To hit down attack there. Number 11, Hog Attack by Abraham against Mike. Not a very interesting name. But goes ahead and just gets his lure accomplished there. He's going to bring the Witch Wizard Barbarian Clan Castle lure again. A little tough angle on that one, but he recovers okay um, because... They weren't running underneath the dragon, which is what you'd like to see. And then he's just going to bring a surgical uh, deployment on his hogs to counteract any giant bomb positions, make sure they don't all run over a giant bomb location. And once they're in the core, uh, there's all Teslas there. There's no more giant bombs, and so all he's got to do is keep them healed up. They're going to take out everything in the core. All that's left is those wizard towers. And so... Pretty easy stuff there. Not great bomb locations. Uh, they can be avoided with the surgical, and they weren't sandwiched really well in between defenses. And so they were pretty diffusible and avoidable with uh, just some targeted hogs and doing that surgical deployment. So that ends up working out well. Bring some goblins for fast cleanup on those outside buildings. A lot, I know people in the past have asked, hey, why goblins? Well, because usually it's all collectors and resource things on the outside. So with a hog attack, you know that once you clean everything up from outside in, there's nothing on the outside. And so those goblins actually provide really quick cleanup. Chaz against Nabert. And uh, he's going to bring a go kind of a hogo wipe and he takes care of that clan castle all by himself doesn't rely on the clan castle witches or anything like that just goes ahead and uses his barbarians wizards and back ends it by distracting with the golem uh, goes ahead and brings that clan castle pekka and he's just working on his go white portion here the one pekka does circle uh, which isn't ideal, but now he's tanking for the wizards, so that's going to work out just fine. Heal in the core covers everything. Keeps him alive while they're dealing with those Teslas. And then he's just going to kind of back end with the hogs. And they did hit a giant bomb there, but they still have sliver of health left, and they're not being targeted too bad. So that actually does work out okay. Ends up with a couple left. And he's got just... Still quite a few troops left, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards, and that's going to be more than enough with those last few hogs that he kept alive there. And so it's just cleanup mode from there. Ten seconds left, one building, and the Swag Poison drop, just to rub it in to your opponent's face that they just got owned. Next we're going to see Attack by Ryan on Harry Seward. That might actually be some dude's real name. Who knows? But in this one we see uh, you know archers and wizards in the clan castle. So again, not something we normally see. So kind of tells you a little bit about the clan we face. That they're still doing the wizard archer thing, which is just easily poisoned. Don't believe he got all of the clan castle out there, though, though if you count the number of wizards and archers i don't think he got them all so nope still three more in there so that's one thing you got to be careful of mistake there not getting them all out because that poison would have dealt with all of them uh, but he does get them taken out keeps everything healed up rage there and 
the hogs end up working around the outside, just like we kind of mentioned on that last attack, the last hogo wipe. If you get the go wipe portion in there, then the hogs will circle and kind of take out those exterior defenses. And so it does a good job there. And just a ton of troops left. So again, a few mistakes there. Nothing that couldn't be overcome. And uh, don't have as much time to go into detail on them as, as we might because we want to be able to get to all the attacks. But good job. Three-star attack there by Ryan. Moving on down to the lower level Town Hall 8s now. We're going to see dragon attacks because those low-level ADs. We see that he goes ahead and lightnings the uh, one AD that's farthest away. And this is something that Seymour Kitties has been kind of showing us with these dragon attacks is rather than trying to engage the clan castle dragon and whatever else by the air defenses, he brings one troop, a hog, to actually do a loop. And what that accomplishes now is he's able to deal with the clan castle outside of the radius of the air defenses. Brings in a handful of balloons and then clan castle hogs to snipe that last air defense. And just like that, all the air defenses are down. He's still got six or seven dragons up. And even against Town Hall 8 with semi-upgraded archer towers, uh, because he got those air defenses and the clan castle taken out with such ease and uh, without his troops taking a big hit, they're going to have no problem going through and just taking out the rest of the space. So good job there, again, utilizing that lure that we don't see as much with the dragon attacks, but uh, we're seeing how effective that can be now with Seymour Kitties showing us how to do that. So Another good attack there, five or six dragons left, and more than enough to get the job done. And we have a hashtag style base, white flag base, spawn point in the middle there allows Darth to go ahead and get the clan castle lure, trip bomb, and go ahead and trip the skeleton traps. So a lot of value uh, to that one troop there. Uh, with four skeletons there, I believe he's got both skeleton traps and the clan castle, so have no problem using the poison spell at this point, because the only other thing that he could possibly use it for would be the barbarian king. He really doesn't need to. Um, so that's a lot of value for the Barbarian to trip it and um, get all that accomplished with the poison spell. So, And again, he goes ahead and takes care of that clan castle dragon himself, doesn't have to rely on the witches. And from here, test hog followed by the rest, test hog followed by the rest, does that all the way around to try to minimize the impact of any giant bomb locations. He doesn't have max giant bombs, so it's really not an issue. Um, kind of does a surgical deployment around the base, followed by his clan castle max hogs on the back side. And it's over. Just a ton of hogs left, and this base never stood a chance. And so that was a great attack there. Brings those wizards to follow up on the back side, get that high damage. And this base goes down very quickly and very easily. So. Very good, well thought out attack there by Darth. Lesser Gi, the Lesser Gi, not the Great Gi, but the Lesser One. Uh, bringing the 105 Dragoon 3L with the three lightning spells. Go ahead and take out the light uh, the air defense that's in front of the air defense. I like that. Then he starts his funnel outside on those builder huts. I love that. It's like you've done this before, Guy. And uh, just watch how he creates this funnel. This is a, an ideal dragon funnel. You start outside, let them work their way in. They get those corner defenses taken out, and what that allows is the balloons to go right up the middle, which is what we want to see with these Dragoon attacks. You want those balloons to be heading right towards the air defenses, which they do. And the air defenses are gone. And the balloons are able to soak up some uh, air bombs and other things and kind of tank in front of the dragons and they do their job. 
And there's four or five dragons left. Still got his balloons up. And his barbarian king goes around the outside and starts with helping with the cleanup, including those builder huts. So just a perfect form as far as a dragoon and for a, a town hall seven going against a town hall eight. Couldn't ask for much more. So great job there. Let's see if we have any other town hall eight attacks here. I believe Pastor Ryan had to go to town hall eight. Sure did. Uh, again, low-level air defenses. There's two clustered. Wisely takes out the one that's separated and away from the other ones. Might have been able to take out the air sweeper, but I still don't think you can take out the air sweeper with the air defense, even with the three lightning. Uh, maybe with level five lightning. But really inconsequential because it's not pointing at the remaining two air defenses. He just kind of creates a corner funnel there. Uh, to make sure that all his dragons are driving directly towards the remaining air defenses. Followed up by the loons. And because those are level 4 air defenses, uh, they're really, the loons aren't even going to have to really do much. Uh, because the dragons should be able to take most of that out. And a little bit of a distraction with the clan castle dragon, but he's gone. Other air defense is gone. And so good job there funneling from the corner, getting rid of the... Uh, kind of outlier as far as the air defense and then going right at attacking right at the remaining two It's the exact right way to do it and Going up a level to a town hall eight. That's good. It's good stuff. That's what we want to see uh, So that uh, once you're town hall eight, you've got a little bit of experience with that third air defense that can throw town hall sevens off for a little while while they learn to deal with that so Excellent job there still has three dragons barbarian king uh, Beaten on walls, which is what they do And eventually secures the three star. Only a couple dragons left, but again, when you're talking about level two dragons going against Town Hall 8, it's still a very good job. And I think we have one last one. There might be a few more, who knows. Again, low level Town Hall 8 does have 8555 for the defenses. Goes ahead and lightnings the one that has uh, got the air sweeper pointing towards it. Outside in funnel, um, style here that we don't see a whole lot, but uh, doesn't mean it's not right, um, but it's got the 99 Dragoon. In other words, um, nine dragons, four balloons, and five clan castle balloons. 99, nine dragons, nine balloons. And the reason he does that is because he can drop his balloons on one side, clan castle balloons on the other side, and try to make sure that the loons target the air defenses which are the main threat to the dragon attack. And so we see he accomplishes that. All the air defenses are down now. Still got about six or seven loons going around, four dragons, five dragons, and just overpowers that base. So good call on the 99. Um, you know, spread those out. Go ahead and make sure, absolutely sure, that those air defenses go down. Once they do, there's really nothing to stop your air attack. So... Again, just showing some different styles. You guys came up with some different approaches and just some unique setups. It wasn't just the same, I always do this attack. And I appreciate that. Um, when I hear somebody say, this is what I how I attack and this is what I do, I cringe because that means you don't look at things based specifically and that worries me. Uh, one of the last ones here, low level Town Hall 8, uh, goes ahead and again, takes away that air defense that... Uh, is kind of the outlier and goes right at the other two from behind the air sweeper outside in funnel. Again, just done perfectly by the lesser gi drops those loons so that they start going right up the middle targeting the air defenses. And there they go, all the air defenses are down. Still got most of his dragons, most of his loons up. And they're just going to roll this base. So again, just good examples of uh, army comps, of course, and then great funneling. Uh, something that's just critical to success at Town Hall 7 and 8. And then when you learn ground armies, uh, as you get into the Town Hall 8 and 9, that funneling strategy and that knowledge just goes to work for you that much more. I believe that was all of the Town Hall 8s. And so that will conclude our war recap. Again, great job, guys. Way to bounce back from a tough uh, loss there. We just didn't have our game on. We weren't following uh, the system, and this time we did, and we saw the results. We 
uh, took out the lower level bases in systematic fashion in a hurry and everyone just did their part worked as a team and when we do that we come out uh, victorious more often than not so great job there uh, no, not going to have a biggest fail this time because we did go through so many attacks um, but just want to appreciate and celebrate this victory and look forward to our next war until next time the all father signing out